So I made a video a couple weeks ago about Clemson's defensive tackle signing class. And in that video, I said, Peter Woods, Vic Burley, Steph Alley Green, that trio is the best defensive tackle trio of anyone in the country. Another team did not sign defensive tackles nearly as good as those three. And ultimately, I think I'm going to be end up being right about that. And specifically with Peter Woods, I said that he was the best player in the class, regardless of position. I believed he should have been the number one overall player. And I believe he's ultimately going to end up being the best player in this in that class. Just watch the tape. It's obvious. The size, the strength, the speed, athleticism, physicality, pass rush ability, run fit ability. I mean, he's just he excels at every level of football. He can play defensive end. He can play defensive tackle. He can play literally all across the entire defensive line. He can even play standing up with his hand out of the dirt. He's just an unbelievable player, dominant, couldn't get blocked. And he honestly, he played in 7A football in Alabama, and he dominated it for years. He won four state titles. I believe he played five years at, the, at the, on the varsity level. He was unblockable, not only in, during the season, but also in the All-American games as well. But the recruiting site's really going to criticize him for being, quote, too short or having shorter arms for defensive linemen, which I can get that. I can get that that's a critique. But cut on the tape, he's done one overall player. And I think he's going to eventually prove that those critiques of them were, were pretty foolish. And honestly, he's already starting to do that. The first news we heard about Peter Woods for Clemson spring practice was that he's going to start alongside Tyler Davis. Now, Rook, Aroro, if he was healthy, he's probably going to start. And then Peyton Page, if he was healthy, probably would be that number three defensive tackle. But the fact that Woods is already ahead of Trey Williams and Demonte Capart, who are both fourth-year players, both of them were highly rated recruits themselves, both of them have been highly productive when they were healthy, it's pretty crazy. Not only that, but he's also ahead of Caden Story, a guy in his second year who was also highly rated. When I first saw that report, my instant reaction was that this kid honestly might be better than we even thought he was. Clemson's really deep at defensive tackle this year. Tyler Davis, Rook, Peyton Page, Trey Williams. I honestly thought going into the season, that was going to be the best two deep in the country. And I knew that Peter Woods was going to play. He was just too good not to play. But honestly, it seems like he's going to be a lot more impactful than I initially considered. Tyler Davis and Rook, they're going to start, in my opinion. And they'll probably be one of the best duos in the entire country. But it seems like Woods is going to compete with Peyton Page for that number three spot right behind them. And if he can play over Peyton Page and Trey Williams, then this kid has insane potential. To be that good that early doesn't make sense. Now, obviously, as fans, we can't see anything on the practice field or in the scrimmages. You know, all we can do is wait until the spring game just to see our first live reaction of Peter Woods. But Clemson has held a scrimmage already. And Dabo was asked about how Woods compares to previous players. And let's just take a listen to what Dabo has to say. And not only Dabo, but Nick Eason gave an interview and was asked what Peter Woods' potential is. And honestly, both their answers are pretty surprising. You talk about Peter, is it pretty similar to when Brzee or, or Christian came in? Right I'd, I'd say he's ahead of them. You know, he's ahead of them. And, in, in the, you know, both of those guys played at really small schools. And, uh, you know, Peter, Peter's one of the strongest kids on the team right now. Uh, but he played 7A football in Alabama. He played in five state championships in a row and won four of them in a row at Thompson High School. Uh, and he's just played at a really high level. And he's just, he's just, he, you know, further along as a football player, uh, but has all those things that you love about Brian and Christian and all that. So, you know, he, we'll, we'll see, you know. And I'll tell you this, Peter Woods has the twitchiness and the power, the quickness of some some dominant NFL linemen, defensive linemen that I've been around. Uh, I'm not going to crown him the, the best ever or the best of this or nothing um, because, you know, the proof's in the pudding. You know, obviously he's got to play this year. But I, I will say that he has the talent level to, to obviously be an All-American, one of the best that's ever came through Clemson. In, in, in that list of great defensive linemen, you know, the Michael Dean Perrys and the Trevor Prices and, the, you know, Brady Jarrett and, 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 and you know, Dexter Lawrence and all the list goes on and on and on. And when you think about great defense alignment at, at, at defensive tackles at Clemson, he, he has the tools to become that. Is he there yet? No. But does he have the tools to become a great defense alignment and one of the best uh, that's ever come through here? Absolutely. Uh, 
but you know there's a lot of work uh, to be put in. Uh, but I can tell you this that he's very focused and uh, that's what he wants to do. So um, that's kind of you know how I see him. So when asked about how Woods compares to guys like Brian Brzee and Christian Wilkins, Dabo said that he's further ahead than what they were at this point in their careers. And if you really consider that, both of those guys had huge impacts their freshman years. I can remember Christian Wilkins being in on that two-point play against Notre Dame to seal the win in the, in the hurricane. I was at that game. The environment was crazy. To have a true freshman against a great offensive line, a, a, one of the top games in the entire country, to make a play like that at the end of the game is incredible. And I can also think Brian Brzee's freshman year, he sacks Phil Djokovic in the end zone to basically seal the deal against Boston College, gets us a safety to win the game. You know, both of those guys were also five stars, highly rated. Brian Brzee was number one overall recruit in the nation. And Christian Wilkins has become one of the best defensive tackles in the entire NFL. I, I just saw a statistic where he led the defensive tackles in the NFL in tackles by a huge margin. I think he had something like 87 tackles and the next closest was in the 50 range. I mean, that's almost doubling them up. And then Brian Brzee, if we know if he stayed healthy his entire career, he's probably one of the top five picks in this draft. He certainly goes top 10 for sure. He's one of the best defensive tackles in the entire country. And again, when healthy, he has unreal potential. He just couldn't really stay healthy the last two seasons. If Woods is further ahead than both of them, I mean, the only way to describe that is it's scary. I mean, we're talking about two high-end first-round draft picks, one that is already one of the top defensive linemen in the NFL, and another one that, if he stays healthy, has that same potential. Both of them also arrived to campus ready to go. The fact that Dabo believes he's ahead of them should make every Clemson fan crazy excited about Peter Woods' future, and it just further indicates why this kid should have been the number one overall crew in the country, in my opinion. And then Nick Eason's asked the question, you know, compare him. What's his potential going to be? And Nick Eason's straightforward. He has the potential to be the greatest defensive lineman Clipson's ever seen. And then rattles also rattles off a list of all of these great defensive linemen, defensive tackles that have been through the program. Refrigerator Perry, Nick Eason himself, who he didn't mention, Christian Wilkins, Grady Jarrett, Dexter Lawrence, now Brian Brzee. I mean, the list is is endless. DJ Reader has also been big in the NFL. Carlos Watkins. It's in, it's incredible to think that this kid's right now his potential is beyond theirs. But Dabo's saying it, and so is Nick Eason. Right now, he's better than than Brian Brzee and Christian Wilkins were, and his potential is beyond a Dexter Lawrence, a Refrigerator Perry, a Christian Wilkins, a Grady Jarrett. I mean, that's insane. That gets me super excited about this kid's potential. And all credit goes to Nick Eason for pulling this kid out of Alabama. This kid should have been an Alabama Christmas Tide or an Auburn Tiger. The fact that we were able to get him out of there is crazy. I love the hire when Dabo made the decision to bring Nick Eason in to replace Todd Bates. The defensive tackle class as a whole, Vic Burley, Steph Allen Green, Peter Woods. Again, I said at the top, best defensive tackle class in the entire country. All reports of these three players are going to be great, especially Peter Woods. So Nick Eason, recruiter of the year. He's honestly been one of the best recruiters on the team so far, probably the best recruiter the staff has. He already has one big time committed defense tackle for the 2024 class. And it sounds like we're about to get another one for the 2024 class as well. So Nick Eason, massive hire. He's done big things. I can't wait to see what more he does and how well he's going to keep developing these players. So get ready uh, and enjoy watching Peter Woods develop. Hopefully he can stay healthy, but it sounds like this kid could develop into the best defensive lineman we've ever had. That's just what the coaches are saying. And Clemson's starting to make an argument for defensive tackle university, you know, with what we've produced recently. We, we've we've always argued about the moniker wide receiver U. I don't think we have it anymore. I think we had a stronger case a few years ago. But if I look at the defensive tackles we have, Grady Jarrett, Deshaun Williams, DJ Reader, Christian Watkins, Christian Wilkins, Dexter Lawrence, Brian Brzee next year, Tyler Davis and Rook Aroro the year after, you know, I mean – we're making that case for Defensive Tackle University. And honestly, it sounds like the best is yet to come with guys like Peter Woods, Vic Burley, and Staff Bowling Green. I can't wait to see those three develop. Go Tigers.